I reviewed all of Leafy's surf videos. Was he a good surfer? No, 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 no. Leafy was one. That's a watch. Holy, that's a watch. Guys, we all watched this guy back in the day. I did, I did. This guy, always the surf content in the back. Bruder, all his reaction videos, always surfing. I never wondered if he's actually good. I just accepted it. I was just listening to the yapping and I didn't care about the surf. A surf leafy analyzation. Here we go. <laughs> one of the most controversial creators <laughs> oh, on baby. YouTube. And guys, and this is from the guy who can actually talk about it. It's Rapstar. Oh. This guy covers everything surf related. Everything surf related. Vamo, he's connected in the surf scene like no other. During his rise to fame, there was something else going on in the background. Literally. A game that because of him became known as CSGO Surf. True. Even though surfing exists in tons of games, even Roblox. But as someone whose entire what? channel is focused on what he used for filler, I always wondered, was Leafy ever a good surfer? Oh. So I analyzed all 657 of his deleted videos and this is an objective, unbiased look at Leafy's ability good. to surf and how he would have compared to the modern surfers of today, or even you. In the first video that Leafy ever appears to surf in is the story of when I met a real le- uh, I can't say that- in October of 2014. And the first map he ever plays is Surf Mesa, one of the most iconic maps in Surf, with a difficulty of tier 1. Classic. That's the easiest. But to evaluate- I've played that map many times. Leafy's movement, we need to know what Surf is. The basic premise of surf is pushing yourself against ramps to travel forward, like holding only A when on the right or vice versa. To leave ramps, one thing you can do is flick, moving yourself towards the ramp to slide up. Then when you come back down, there's a trick you're supposed to do. Aim for the very top of the ramp or the edge and slide in flush with the ramp, no collision. This converts all your falling speed to horizontal speed and boom, that's the fundamentals of surf. So how does 2014 Leafy match up to this? Well, like a lot of his early videos, I was actually surprised. First of all, knife-glove combo we can't judge because gloves weren't even a thing. Knife combo, didn't he leak somewhere how much he made in a month? And it was something over 100,000 or something? I remember hearing that somewhere on Twitter or something. What is this knife, bro? Come on, G. We can do better. By this point, he already understood the very basics. He's a little higher than he should be, he presses the wrong key on this ramp, uh. but he's actually not that bad. Then, Leafy makes a common mistake that you will see again many times that would be his number one pain point, called mooning. In Surf, when you flick, you have the option of going extremely high. To the moon, that's why we call it that. This is nice when there's a large hole you have to fall into so you don't smack into the sides. The problem is that when you go too high, you have to do something weird to avoid oh, the obstacles leafy. that also happens to lose lots of speed, Good recovery. making it very hard to complete the map. And even on ramps where the correct answer is doing almost nothing, Leafy would accidentally make things harder for himself. I see many surfers with this issue not out of the ordinary, and he would do this on almost every map throughout his career. Okay, but this could mean two things, right? If he if he keeps doing that mistake, first of all, it's probably like, does it just mean that he does for his videos always a new map and he kind of first tries it? Because you only do that mistake once, right? Or should only do the mistake once. Or is he just stupid and he keeps doing that same mistake and always moons when he knows there's a wall and he shouldn't moon? Hmm. Could mean either thing. He is stupid. Ain't no way. Rear. Now, to be fair, the pro strat on this map is- But his takes in the videos were all good, no? Are you sure he's stupid? Kappa Klaus, Kappa Klaus. Actually, I don't remember. What was- it, was- did, did his takes make sense? <laughs> I don't know. It's also a moon. If you get optimal speed, you can flick hard and drop directly into the hole. It's just that this strategy is nearly impossible. But within the same video, Leafy beats two other maps. Surf Air Control, a decently sized linear map that used to look like this and Surf Rebel Resistance that's over 15 years old, both of which are tier 1 maps. Mm. So now, we have our baseline for Leafy's skill. When he first started, Leafy was at least a tier 1 surfer, which meant he could beat at least one map. That, that is actually an accomplishment most people that try it won't. But there's two other surfers we're going to think about for the purposes of this video. Tier 3 surfers can do some advanced techniques, like spins just turning in one direction. But most importantly, never slam, which is really bad. They know how to board most ramps and moon or under flick less often. 
and of course can beat. I think I'm a tier three surfer, bro. You give me a tier one map, that's not a challenge. Tier two, some tier twos are way harder than others. Beatable, may take some time. Tier three, I invest some time, doable. A tier three map, but our last player is a tier six surfer. For many players, this is considered beating the game of surf. And while there are certainly harder maps all the way up to tier oh 8 my. or even higher in unofficial rankings, most tier 6 maps have only been beaten by a few hundred people or even less and require you to be clinically insane at the game. And no, Leafy is not a tier 6 surfer, <laughs> but he was definitely improving. And thankfully, he's on Surf Mesa again so we can compare. He's figured out how to do curved ramps, holding D here instead of A. He moons less here and spins to avoid the walls, Ooh. and even tries to do a skip, flicking very- Also, I have to chime in as a skin sky. He didn't just improve his surfing, he also improved his knife. M9K Sardent. That's an upgrade to the Bayonet Urban Mask, which we had before. Nice knife. Very high. However, a modern pro surfer might have done a slightly different strategy, or even be hopped on the rocks to avoid these ramps entirely. But it's a good idea to try anyway, and he even does a slight, subtle flick to easily land in the end zone. Later in the same video, he also beats Surf Utopia. You've probably seen this one before. So clearly, at this guys, point guys, in guys, 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 I can't be the only one. Surf Utopia, probably the first time I ever saw this map and heard about this map was during a leafy video literally this right here is 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 for me kind of still leafy i swear on god so beats surf utopia you've probably seen this one before so clearly at this point in mid 2015 he was surfing often not grinding and tryharding the game but putting in some effort but this was all on tier one maps which leads to the obvious question. What was the highest tier map that Leafy had ever beaten? This single piece of information would give us the clearest look into Leafy's skill set. Yeah. So I started searching through every single video looking for higher tier maps. He gets skill set. So I oh. Chad, which game is this? This game looks kind of fun, bro. What game is that? Mm. Started searching through every single video looking for higher tier maps. He gets far on a couple like Mesa Mine that he apparently hated. I hate this map. This is the worst map in CSGO. He beats a bunch of tier ones like Sundown and Trance. Lots of Kitsune, I mean like every other video, yeah. apparently his favorite map. And I can't help but notice, during this time, Leafy seems like a really chill guy. He seems to really enjoy and appreciate the following he's getting. He interacts with his fans a lot, and there isn't that negativity that I was expecting. <laughs> well, I'm glad I made your day better, man. However, the first Tier 2 map that Leafy appears to complete was Surf Reprise, a classic Tier 2 linear map, with some forgiving spins and tight angles. A few months prior, he's at the very end and is about to reach the final ramp, but unfortunately turns too early oh! and hits a fail trigger on the ground. However, in August of 2015, Leafy hits this run. In a video titled, I Will Sue You, he makes <laughs> it past the final ramp, makes it mostly across the gap, and uses a structure on the side to b-hop to the end. Oh. Now, while it says the map is tier 1 in the timer, Reprise is officially listed as a tier 2 on Game Banana, making Leafy at least a tier 2 surfer. Which leads to the next obvious question. Wow. Had Leafy ever beaten a tier 3 map? which meant even more buffering and scrolling through videos. He beats a bunch of weird tier 1s. He beats Reprise again, this time without using the sides. And in early 2015, he almost beats Surf Happy Hands, another tier 2 linear map with some interesting boards and new angles, very awkward and dark sections. Mods, note down the names of the maps right now, which he barely beat. I'll go in right now. Fuck, can I, can I boot up a surf map in CSGO? Because CS2 is not the same thing, bro. Can I still open a workshop map? I think so, right? His boarding, that trick we talked about earlier, is okay. He's not the best surfer in the world. However, we still don't know what Leafy did offline, as he was clearly improving over time in between videos. He's playing lots of tier 2 maps like Surf Graphia and Surf Island. And by this point, Leafy had well over 100,000 subscribers and had already done his face reveal. But it's at about this point that Leafy also starts doing roasts dunking on another creator or just someone who uploaded a few videos that would eventually turn into his downfall. 
but I don't care about this. I care about the surf. Yeah. And I think in 2016, Leafy is actively trying to improve and get a tier three completion. First, he tries beating Surf Spaceship, a tier three. Doesn't get far, and this is a hard one, so I'm not surprised. And at the end, it looks like this, bordering on tier four. Tough stuff. Ooh. He then beats Surf Delusional, a really good but easier tier two with some interesting mechanics, and probably puts him in a solid midway between tier three and tier two. Later, he beats 14 stages of Surf Cubic, a proper tier 3 map, but gets stuck on the 15th stage with a spin to board. What he has to do is aim for the spine and go far deeper on the ramp at board, then flick up and into the hole. However, even if he had beaten this stage, it would have only gotten harder from here. And at one point, he almost beats Surf Gloaming, a super classic and difficult tier 2 linear. And this is in the midst of the H3H3 drama that was like the spark for his eventual departure. He does the same thing we've all done and gets stuck here at this lower floor, when you're supposed to do a rather hard flick and strafe to the level above. Which he couldn't have done because he mooned in the section before. Oh. Hard flicks lose speed automatically and also make the next board much harder. All of that falling speed wasted when he slammed into the ramp. But at this point, the surf in his videos does start improving. He starts showing more and more decent completions rather than just random Actually attempts. Good. It feels like, at least at this point, he cared a little bit about showing off some skill or at least having that satisfying experience of a complete for the viewer. For example, he finally beats Mesa Mine, a map that he said he hated. And then, in March of 2016, Leafy plays Surf Oasis, a map labeled Tier 3, with 10 stages, each scaling Dude, in difficult- I, 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 Kinda cool actually, no? Like he did, he had an off, like a, a, a hobby, surfing, he did it in his free time, and he connected the two things, bro. The surfing was never really talked about, right? The YouTube was about yapping. And he used his hobby off, off time with the, 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 with the YouTube. Amazing. Mm -mm. Lovely, lovely. He didn't use any like world record gameplay that you could have just used in the back. You could have asked the guy, yo, can I have some surf gameplay of yours? Some YouTubers do that. They show some deathmatch highlights instead of using their own because they suck at the game. Used his own, wasn't ashamed that he was mediocre or whatever. And it was still, it was a vibe. It was his own gameplay, bro. I love that. Gulti from tier one to presumably tier three and the final featuring a head check that punishes mooning, as if you go too high, you fail. And to my surprise again, he breezes through the first eight stages with only a few fails, undershoots, a little too low, and makes it to stage <laughs> 10. <laughs> Was this his actual gameplay? <laughs> the way he looks up, bro. Fails, like, undershoots, a little too really, low, bro? <laughs> and makes it to stage 10, where he actually beats it really quickly with a subtle and accurate flick to the finish. Now, here's the thing, Oasis is on the easier side, in some people's opinion, just tier 2, but it is officially listed as a tier 3 map. Leafy was, on paper, a tier 3 surfer. Wow. We'll see if he actually beats a harder one a little later. However, it's around this point in mid-2016 that Leafy basically stops surfing. He plays a lot of Guys, combat surf. oh my god, I remember this map. Nee, I don't remember this map, I remember this video, and this map in the video. Am I the only one? Dude, it, it must have been a huge video that he used this gameplay on, right? Like a huge exposing, a crazy, like, I don't know, suing someone. <laughs> like, bro, I, I remember this. I remember exactly this, chat because of that video. What the hell? May have been the Pokemon expose video or something. In mid-2016, that Leafy basically stopped surfing. He plays a lot of- Story about my uncle, really? Did he delete all his videos? Oh, it's the game. Dude, this shit looked fun as hell when he had it in the back. ...of Combat Surf, which is basically the same mechanic, just no timer. A lot of Overwatch, which had just come out that year. And Doom. So much Doom. Which makes sense, it's visually compelling, which was the point. And by the time the end of 2017 rolls around, he was just using assorted movement games, indie stuff it appears. This would be his last video for over two years. Oh. At the end of 2017, Leafy completely disappeared from YouTube, going from almost daily uploads to barely any, and the changing YouTube landscape just didn't support his relatively aggressive content. But now, while Leafy wasn't completing anything, we could take another perspective, not looking at the maps he beat, but the times themselves. If he beat a tier 1 map, but landed in the top 10 times, he's a lot better than a tier 1 surfer. 
so I took a look at some of his personal bests, hopefully, like this Kitsune run that he completed in a minute and 24 seconds. I compared that to a massive pool of 120,000 players that would put him at just about the top 30,000, the top 25%. Right. I also checked out this Surf Me run that looked decent and placed him just within the top half. Leafy was probably better than the average surfer, because the average surfer has trouble beating any maps, let alone completing one without fail. However, he was gone. He stopped uploading to a channel that had printed him money and fame, and seemingly left behind a game he once enjoyed. That was until 2020. In one of his first videos back, Leafy gets the f Dude, I don't- and, and, and I didn't watch these, I think. I didn't watch the comeback. Maybe I did. Did he turn into the GigaChat tier 6 surfer during his downtime? Furthest I'd ever seen him on a tier 3 map called Happy Hands 4. And it's probably the best surf I've seen Leafy do. Which sucks because the quality is terrible for this some reason. Clean. He does some really clean ramp jumps here, completes a spin by changing directions halfway guys, through, guys, and guys. while he fails, he basically only had two rooms left for his second and official tier 3 completion. Which is weird because after this- The question is if he was recording at all times during that four year break, and if that is the best that happened during the past four years. Huh? <laughs> it's all downhill from here, and something becomes very wrong with his surf. He even says this in a video on Surf Chaos. He asks somebody, why do I suck? Is it a new mouse? It seems like, in between this Happy Hands 4 attempt and mid-2020, he becomes super shaky. You can see this in his benevolent run, where he's able to do these ramp strafes. He knows what to do, a pretty hard technique, but he's just vibrating, looking less smooth than he did a few months prior. What I do is a tier 7 surfer, I'm like a B plus student, oh, no. is lower the crap out of my sends. I play at 0. 0.6, 800 DPS. She said that's so weird. I mean, like, what does what, what now happen? The surf doctor, he started shaking and then like, <laughs> he's like gives his judgment. Oh, I, I have to move my hand all the way across my desk to do one turn so that I can look like a damn robot sometimes. But if I were to raise my sends, you would instantly see these same shakes that Leafy had, or worse. Yeah, yeah. And as a result, it seems like he's stuck on tier one and tier two maps. He mm. doesn't have that same control he had in 2017. What? But he is beating maps and surfing all the way up to his ban until his final video where he plays and beats Reddix. He just sounds kind of sad, or at least disappointed. If we had to be honest, a lot of the times the future is less exciting than people make it out to be. Anyways, though, it's been six, seven minutes, and yeah. Leafy would never upload another surf run to YouTube, which would mean the end of our story and make him a tier two surfer confirmed. That is until 2023. See, in March of last- Guys, up, un like, up until a second ago, that was so aware. His YouTube career died down, and with that, his surfing got got more chaotic as well. He started shaking. All of a sudden, he struggles at maps that he didn't before. Jesus. The downfall in surfing as well. Last year, Leafy made a return to video media, joining a competing site. This is Leafy's rumble period. I had to go through hundreds of rumble Ooh. ads. He was actually streaming six hours a day, multiple times a week at this point. He just rarely ever surfed, spending most of the time reacting to videos and would just surf whenever he had a call with somebody, like a friend. Right when he came back, he uploaded a video called Test Render, where he plays Surf Pox, a short and easy tier one linear. So he misses a huge shortcut at the beginning, just walking off here. He could have gone to the left or right, building up a huge boost and just whip through the rest of the map. How oh, but that to me kind of proves that he may be even better than we make it out to be. Because I swear on God, what's way hard, what's what makes beating a surf map quite a lot easier? Looking up before you go for the run to look up a world record on YouTube and then just try to copy paste. But trying to figure out where to go and stuff, you learn it yourself. He doesn't know about the shortcut because he probably like blind ran it, you know? However, for his actual I respect that. He's losing lots of speed from bad boards, not converting his full speed to horizontal speed, and moons a lot, just like before. And he even has a final Mesa attempt with horrible mooning, making things mm. 10 times harder for himself. In many of these instances, all he had to do was not flick, but he eventually beats the map by doing exactly that. 
Now, despite all of these videos that I reviewed, it was still possible that he had surfed offline. Whoa, 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 I wanted whoa, whoa. to. Is this Leafy in the back? No, right? Seal the deal and ensure I wasn't doing him wrong. I think so. Which meant I had to find his surf profiles. See, each server you join stores all of your completions, your Steam ID, forever. If I could get his Steam profile and ID, I could find all of his records across every major surf server and finally answer my question. Was Leafy a tier 3 surfer? Thankfully, in his last few Rumble streams, we see his name was LOL. I found a profile with the same name. I'm gonna hide some of this info, don't go bother this guy. With 2300 comments, all acting like it was Leafy. That's him. Then used a Steam ID converter, plugged the results into a stat website, and boom, one of Leafy's surf profiles with a single completion of Surf Hourglass. I found another on Sneak's website, four completions. I checked on Surf Heaven, the major European server, where he had two completions, both tier one, and by far his biggest profile I could find on Horizon servers. But unfortunately, Ooh. most other places he might have played no longer exist. I even checked his profile on KSF, the most competitive surf server in the world, where he not only had a profile, but two completions, his last on his favorite map, Kitsune. I can say, with what's available on the internet, that Leafy was just about a tier 3 surfer. Okay. At his peak, or at the very least, tier 2. If you enjoyed this, you'll love my player profile. A tier 2 to 3 surfer, but a tier 6 yapper. Oh, on the greatest surfer of all time, Caffrey. Okay, goodbye, have a good time, get out of here, please please don't attack me, I'm sensitive, I'm not like him. I enjoyed okay, this video. Leave me alone, I just want to make a surf video, goodbye. Dude, I said, this guy, Rapstar, I remember we watched some videos ages ago, and he just keeps popping out bangers. How does he do it? How does he do it? Do you remember when he exposed the server for cheating? We watched that. That was an amazing watch. If you haven't watched it, look up his stuff. Search by most watched, rewatch all of those. If you haven't for yet. For some reason, there are- My days, because you're missing out, bro. Rapstar on YouTube, bang. Leave him a sub right fucking now, bro.